hailing from Detroit, now living in Bel Air, the illusionist, Jarek 120! Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Jeff Aiken and Brian Zane joined it. Commentary position by Morty Lips. Yes. It's lovely seeing you again, Jeff o Aiken. Aiken, right? Yeah, yeah. And same and, as it's uh, always been. Brian. Oh, Zane. Hi, guys. Good to be here. Also, same as it's always been for Wrestling with Regrets, Brian Zane. You know, Morty, of all the loud, obnoxious suits I've seen you wear, that is certainly one of them. It's gorgeous. A thing of beauty, just like myself. Sure. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. Just like Jarek 120. Making his way out to the ring, Jarek has made quite an impact in the WCWC since he debuted. And tonight, he's got an exciting opponent. I'm not going to give it away. I'll leave it to the ring announcer. But I think the fans of the WCWC will be pleasantly surprised. And his opponent. Hailing from Denver, Colorado, the adrenaline, Adrian Matthews. You heard him right, Morty Lipschitz, Brian Zane, the return of Adrian Matthews. Look at this ovation, this is crazy. This guy's been out for about nine months or so. I believe he had some uh, pectoral and bicep uh, injury and surgery after a long time. And these fans, they remember him and they missed him. They were I, him back. I forgot who he was. I mean, I know, well, what he did in the past is irrelevant to this. But he's back. But he's got a tough opponent in Jarek, someone I'm kind of keeping my eye on, guys. Jarek is a very mysterious individual. Yeah, that, that reminds me, why are you out here, Morty? Because you're with the Wrecking Crew, and neither of these men are, are Wrecking Crew members. Are you, are you scouting? Is that what's going on? Uh, I really can't talk about that right now. You'll just, we'll have to wait and see, Brian. We'll have to wait and see. Morty Lipschitz, he's the attorney to the stars in the WCWC. Why, why wouldn't he be out here for an Adrian Matthews or a Jeff Aiken? Been me we're going to tell you, we'll talk later, Jeff. <laughs> no, it's, it's, we can skip that. I'm good with that. In the ring right now, Jarek 120 getting ready to face off against Adrian Matthews. Now, we've seen Jarek 120 in recent weeks here on the WCWC. Not the usual trickster we're accustomed to seeing in a wrestling ring. You know, it, no, excuse me, a trickster? Are you saying he would do terrible things in the ring to win a match? Try and trick his opponents? I wouldn't say terrible, but he will certainly do what he needs to do to win. As he should. I'm sorry, Brian. Go ahead. Well, I wouldn't say he I wouldn't say he would do tricky things to win a match because he has done tricky things to win a match. But that is just his MO. He is an illusionist. He is a very well-regarded magician, and he's translating these, these uh, talents of his into the squared circle. We've seen him use... I guess you could call it magic the last few times you've seen him, but he's amassed quite a win streak here at the WCWC. We've seen a little bit different Adrian Matthews in the ring right now, a little more composed. Cautious. Uh, cautious, uh, maybe focused in there. That's a word. It was cautious. His, it was his left shoulder that we saw separated about a little over six months ago. It was a very serious injury. In fact, really frankly, I don't know if this was uh, released out to the public, but there were very serious doubts about Matthews ever competing in a wrestling ring again. He's here, but I'm going to be personally watching. I'm sure Jarek 120 will be as well to see if he favors that shoulder. One thing that Jarek 120 is, aside from being a trickster, he's also very calculated. He also is very intelligent in the ring. So like you said, if he, if he, can, if he can find a way to exploit his uh, previous injuries, it could work out in his favor. I hope he's not getting a little bit too cocky out there, though, with, with Matthews. Well, he's, yeah, that's he, not too cocky he, He's at all. doing a dance and doing the leaning thing against the ropes. That's pretty cocky if I ever saw it. Adrian Matthews, a top competitor historically in the WCWC, as we have uh, live events throughout the state of Oregon, which you can always keep up on that event schedule at wc-wc.com. Adrian, very successful in those events, as he has been on television. And Jarek 120 paying the price for that arrogance and confidence. A bit of tip for tat here by Adrian Matthews, and we'll see how Jarek can rebound. Okay. He'll rebound just fine. Don't worry about him. He's got some of the greatest legal minds behind him. Oh, really? Who are they? Ouch. Adrian Matthews showing off some of that trademark speed as he sends Jarek 120 back and forth across the ring. Hip toss up. A body slam. What's about here? Wow, what strength from Adrian Matthews to pick him up from a seated position into that back suplex. Now Adrian has all the advantage here. This is all Adrian right now. 
a tactical error there, if you ask me. Adrian Matthews needs to stay on top of Jarek 120. What we have seen from him is he's got his magic tricks that he'll use in a match, but he's also an incredible athlete. Oh! If you give him any opening, he's going to capitalize just like that. And there's the opening that he took, and now Adrian is laid out. I don't think Jarek 120 is above taking a victory by count out as the referee begins that count. You can see on the back of Jarek's trunks, Disturb Reality, that is the name of his YouTube channel. As a YouTube celebrity myself and the YouTube champion, I do have to uh, give him credit for, uh, oh, watch it, I love this, right here. It's incredible. Oh! How does he do that? Magic! Oh, oh it's magic. There we go, pat himself on uh, the back. You pretty, deserve it. Pretty proud of himself on that one. He should be. I don't see you out there doing that, Jeff Aiken. Oh, you should have been here before the uh, camera started rolling. Goes for a cover. Here we go. Like just a one count. Adrian Matthews showing that athleticism. He is absolutely in peak physical condition following that injury. Yeah, for being gone uh, from the ring for more than half a year, he's able to hold his own quite well here against Jared. Still looks to be in pretty good shape, giving credit while he was recouping from surgery. Looks like he's still been working out, eating right, stealing my vitamins. Go ahead and leave your vitamins out of the conversation. Jarek 120 doing a really good job grounding Adrian Matthews. A really sound strategy. Matthews historically has used very high impact moves from a standing base, and listen to that. These fans have not forgotten who Adrian is. They want him to win badly here against Jarek. Look at this, though. Oh, my God, right that arm. Right on the injured shoulder. It was a matter of time for Jarek 120 went after that. Now, we've talked quite a bit about the fact that Adrian Matthews has spent a lot of time rehabbing that injury. He's been in the gym. He's been conditioning himself, but at some point, I mean, and it might be sooner than later, those impacts are going to cost him. It looks like he better be calling his physical trainer, his physical therapist after this matchup because he's going to need some physical therapy. Watch out. What do we got here? Oh, my goodness. Whoa! Do you see the athleticism of Adrian to be able to get up like that and grab him? I think he fell accidentally. That wasn't athleticism. He just kind of fell on top of the ring there. Well, sometimes luck oh. is all you need. Takes the head of Jarek 120 clean off. There's luck and then there's strength, which is what Adrian's showing here with those clotheslines. He's not playing nice. Well, St. Ballet. Adrian Matthews has a lot to prove in this matchup. After being out of the ring for over six months, Coming back to this ovation oh. of WCWC, but Jarek 120 capitalizes. Those kicks are absolutely vicious and brutal. So, whoa, you see that? Wait a minute. That power slam in the past has put down quite a few opponents for Adrian Matthews. It's either the fortitude of Jarek 120 or the injury to the shoulder that took a little bit momentum off of that. I'm still in awe over what Jarek did to get him back up. You see he he lifted him up by the invisible strings. Did you see that, Jeff? It's absolutely incredible. Jarek 120 brings so much. Wait! Look at that. Where did that come from? 52 card pickup. Here we go. No! Matthews rolls through. Jarek 120 keeps a hold, though. This is what separates so many wrestlers from others. Keep it up. Oh, my goodness! Matthews! Oh, still got him. Who's got whom here? Northern Lights into a... What's he got here? Oh! Delayed vertical suplex, but no knee, knee to the top of the head. Jarek 120 doing anything he can to get out of there. He's in dangerous territory going up, going up top. High rent district for Jarek 120. Whoa! That's a, that's a shot of adrenaline! The winner of this match, Adrian Matthews! I'm disappointed. I'll have to go back and talk to Jared and see what happened there. That was something you're, wrong here. You're disappointed. The WCWC fans are on their feet celebrating the triumphal return of Adrian Matthews. Well, I'm not celebrating. That's spinning Urinagi. He calls it the shot of adrenaline. And that will put away Jared 120. Snaps the, the winning streak of the magician. Very much to the adulation of the WCWC fans. You too can join us online, hashtag the WCWC, coming up after this.